Hello, thank you very much for sitting in on this presentation. My name is Lukman Shaheen. I'm the president and CEO of Panorama Minerals. We are a copper exploration focused company focused on Peru. We've been working in Peru since the mid 1990s. We have a large portfolio of projects that we've been developing there focused on our current uh, scope of projects since uh, 2008 when we acquired these projects from Antofagasta Minerals and from Valley. We have um, a number of projects in a very important uh, district in the world. The company is traded on the Toronto Stock Exchange, our primary listing. We are trading at approximately a $26 million market cap. We have $21.4 million of funding in place from partners such as Wheaton Precious Metals, Hut Bay, Jogmec, and Mitania. So we're well funded. Our strategy has been to leverage our portfolio of projects to secure the capital required to advance our, our focus on our principal asset, which is the Cotabambas project. But in addition to Cotabambas, which is a 722 million ton resource with a number of high grade uh, oxide, sulfide and SCARN targets identified, um, we also have uh, the Antia project, which is again a large scale resource where we've uh, improved the metallurgical te uh, test results uh, subsequent to the PEA and are ready to move that project into feasibility and permitting. Our Cusiorco project is partnered with Hot Bay. They are 100% owners of the project. We have uh, milestone payments coming from them, from the transaction, plus a 2% future NSR royalty. And Cusiorco is located very nearby Hot Bay's Constancia Mine. Our Humamandata project is funded by Jogmec through a joint venture structure. They'll be providing $8 million of funding to this project, which is also nearby the Constancia mine. The Cochisawas project, we recently transacted with Mintania, whereby they will be paying us $2.5 million US over the next few years. Uh, and in addition to that, a 5% NSR royalty. And their plan is to commence production in the near term on this interesting gold, silver, underground pass producing mine. The projects are located in uh, South Central Peru, in the region, uh, very important, where companies such as Grupo Mexico, Minsur, Buenaventura, Tech, Mitsubishi, Freeport, Anglo-American, Glencore, Hud Bay, MMG, all are either operating and or have built and or are constructing new open pit copper mines. And all of Panorama's projects are focused in this region. The Cotabamba's project looks to be the next project of the scale of some of these others. Antia, a slightly smaller project, but a uh, very efficient heat leach operation. And as I mentioned, Huma Mandata and Cusiorco are being advanced with partnerships. And the Cochasaiwas project, we expect to have some near term production as our partner continues to uh, develop that project. The Cotabamba's project is uh, open pit. The current PEA uh, estimates are shown here, 80,000 ton per day open pit mine, producing 70,000 tons a year of copper, plus 95,000 ounces a year of gold, plus a million ounces a year of silver, all within a single concentrate. At the PEA prices, the net present value of the project was $683 million. Very notable that at the June 10th spot prices, the metrics around the project are very close to what was included in the PEA. Copper price is down compared to the PEA, but gold prices are up and silver prices are approximately the same as the PEA. So the project's economics look good even within the current price environment. At the current precious metal price environment, the break-even copper price for the project is only $1.55 per pound. The PEA is built on the resource of uh, 117 million tons of indicated plus 605 million tons of inferred, which has been developed from almost 84,000 meters of drilling. But we have identified in the immediate vicinity of the open pit, the proposed open pit, four new targets, Maria Jose 1, Maria Jose 2, Petra, and David targets. All three, all four of these targets uh, include both uh, sulfide mineralization and oxide mineralization, which is 
higher than the current average grade of their resource and is also near surface. So we expect that these discoveries will add additional significant value to the project metrics as included in the PEA. Those targets that I identified to you in the last slide are all included within the area that we call cluster one, which is in the vicinity of the proposed open pits. But we have also now opened up the area of cluster two and within cluster two, the Chowpec target, where last year we completed drilling to test the continuity of SCARN and porphyry mineralization that we have observed at surface to test its continuity with depth continuity down towards a high chargeability zone that looks to be a potential new porphyry and also towards a high magnetic zone that looks to be a potential SCARN deposit. We have uh, intersected grades in this new area of Chowpec at up to over 1% copper and up to over a half a gram per ton of gold. So another interesting high grade near surface uh, satellite target potential, satellite deposit potential for the Cotabamba's project. That uh, remains to be the focus at Cotabamba's is drilling the nearby high grade zones and the nearby oxide zones. Our objective for the project will be to increase the high grade near surface feed to the mill and also identify sufficient amount of near surface oxides to add on a heat leach SXEW component to the project, which will then get rolled into the pre-feasibility studies. So we have some 4,000 meters of drilling plan for these areas prior to a definition of the timelines and estimates for pre-feasibility work. The Antia project is built, uh, the PEA is built around a 20,000 ton per day open pit mine heat leach uh, project, very low strip ratio of 1.38 to one and a low capital cost of $250 million that produces a $305 million net present value, which comes from the production of 21,000 tons per year of copper cathode. The additional metallurgical recoveries identified after the PEA indicate the potential to add another 50 million tons of resource to the mine plan and thereby increase the throughput from 20,000 to 35,000 tons per day. And that then has a big impact on the project economics, increasing the net present value to 499 million, while increasing the capital costs uh, only to $327 million. So the improvement at the uh, Antia project driven by the increased metallurgical recoveries from the column testing that was completed after the PEA, where the recoveries were almost 80% within a period of 150 days, rather than the 72.5% recoveries over a 200 day period that was included in the PEA. So the Antia project uh, is a secondary sulfide leach of calcosite. 95% of the feed that's in the mine plan is already an indicated category. It has a very low strip ratio. And we feel that the economics uh, demonstrate that the project is ready to move into feasibility studies. And we're currently working on the budgeting of our projected cash flows to commence the feasibility work, uh, pre-feasibility and feasibility work at the Antia project. The valuation metrics around Panoro are a good news, bad news story. The bad news is we're trading at a $30 million market cap. The good news is that the fundamentals of the, both the Cotabambas and Antia project show a six to $700 million valuation potential as copper projects trade between five and 10 cents per pound of copper in uh, a healthy copper environment and between 0.4 and 0.8 multiples. The current project metrics show uh, 700, up to a $700 million valuation potential. And with the improvements to both Cotabambas and Antia, we estimate that uh, 700 million to plus $1 billion valuation potential is realistic for the Cotabambas project as we uh, wait and watch the resurgence of the copper space. So um, as a note, um, uh, in March of 2012, Panero traded at $120 million market cap, where we uh, had a much smaller resource size at that point, And that was equivalent to about a six cent per pound, um, six cent per pound of copper equivalent valuation. Currently, the company is trading not at six cents per pound of copper equivalent, 
but rather 0.29 cents per pound of copper equivalent. And you can see that in relation to our peers, we are trading at one eighth uh, average valuation and one thirty second of the peak valuation of our peer companies, despite the fact that we have a higher than average grade for our open pit and we have higher grade expiration targets already identified. We have lower cost oxide already identified. The size of our project is typical resource size compared to our peers for open pit potential for open pit projects but uh, we have also identified significant uh, growth potential. So I think all of the uh, valuation metrics to us are very clear that uh, we, between the NT and Cotabamba's project, there's significant upside. And I don't think the investment community yet appreciates that the funding that we have put in place with Wheaton, Precious Metals, with Mindania, with Hud Bay, with Jogmec, that we have a significant amount of capital that will be going into our projects that will be generating news and will allow us to move these projects ahead without having to raise any uh, money on the market, without having to face the dilemma of dilution. And our end game remains the same is that we will partner and or sell our assets at the right time and then spin these companies, uh, these assets out into different vehicles, including a future royalty vehicle and give our shareholders exposure uh, to those spin-outs um, with equity and then uh, continue advancing some of our earlier stage projects. So in summary, uh, we're, uh, we have a stable funding plan in place through our strategic partnerships. We have an important pipeline of projects located in a very important country and a uh, very uh, interesting opportunity to gain exposure to both copper and gold in the current uh, marketplace. So thank you very much and I look forward to hoping uh, and meeting with uh, some of you during the process of this conference.